What is up, everybody? Stetson with Stetson Lawn Care here. It is a nice Monday morning, very beautiful outside, about 50, uh, maybe 60s. And we got some yards to mow today. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, I have my sidekick with me, which is nobody. <laughs> I'm solo today, guys, which is okay because Carlos, he had class today, and of course, Jackson started class too. Um, so, we're just out here, we're gonna mow a couple yards, maybe like six or seven it's already 10 o'clock and uh i'm gonna go i'm actually in the middle of yards i'm gonna go to my dealer and talk to them about a grass gobbler for my right because a lot of people have commented get a grass gobbler it'll save your life on scalping and i started thinking the right because uh the right because <clears throat> then i could use the right to scalp almost every yard and uh if we didn't have a third guy it wouldn't be a big deal because we could just use the right so I'm thinking I'm gonna go just check out how much they are <clears throat> up at Metro Turf. And yeah, I think it'll be a good investment. But <clears throat> first guys, we're at uh, this yard, it's the landscaper's house. And we're gonna scalp the front, which is Georgia, and then just mow the back and weed eat some areas in the back. I'll show you guys when I go back there. But first things first, we're gonna scalp the Georgia. So let's get it done. All right, guys, so we just finished up the scalping in the front. Uh, I did have to double cut it because this grass is zoysia. It's way thicker than Bermuda, and so uh, I cut it higher the first time, and then, then I scalped it. And here's the finished product. We just got to weed eat the beds and blow some grass out. But um, we ended up with four bags, and the good thing about here is that he has a compost pile that he lets me dump the grass in so we don't have to tell the bags off or anything. So that's good, but just wanna show you, just got this zoysia scalped up and it'll be nice and ready to come in the season. So what I've been doing is going on the right over there and uh, putting a bag on it and then hauling it to the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Hey everybody, here's a cool thing about one of the sure cages. Check this out. I can just fill up the right just by sitting here. I don't have to take the gas can off or anything. So that's pretty nifty. But we're gonna fill up the right, then we're gonna start mowing. And I'm gonna show you guys the back first. The back is crazy tall, so we're gonna see if the right can handle it. All right, everybody, so here's the backyard. Uh, it's pretty overgrown, especially in certain areas. Just cause it's springtime and all. Uh, he also wants me to weed eat all this stuff up here and back in that uh, the garden back there. But yeah, as you guys can tell, so we just need to pick out some sticks, the bigger ones that would hurt the right. And we need to look for golf balls because I know he likes to golf. And last year, there was golf balls everywhere. So just need to double check the property. And if it's good to go, then we're gonna start mowing. Oh man, I need to get a freaking, I need to get a tripod. Cause guys, all I have right now here, I'll show you what I have. Hold on. So basically all I have right now is this. It's just a little like Joby tripod and it like, you know, you can uh, attach it to anything, wrap it around it. But what I wanna do, I wanna get an actual tripod so I can put the camera at whatever height I want and wherever I want because I wanna get some good uh, mowing footage this year. And I mean, that's the best way to do that would to get a 
tripod. So if you guys have any suggestions on a good tripod for a uh, GoPro, let me know and uh, maybe I'll pick your suggestion. I don't know. But guys, we're gonna get mown. So let's see if the right can handle this growth. Everybody, we got it done. The right handled it perfect, no problems at all. I had to double cut this area because there's just a bunch of clunk up, clunked up grass. But other than that, guys, man, love this machine for sure. There, I've had, I noticed a problem with the grass flat. Um, I guess the cable heats up or something, and um, yeah, I don't know. Somehow, this ends up going underneath the gas tank. But look how. Look how far away that is. I don't know. I, maybe the piece of plastic heats up. Dude, I honestly don't know. It literally goes underneath the gas, the gas tank. If you guys know what's going on, let me know. Um, but that's very, it's very odd. I don't know how that happens. Huh. All right, anyway, guys. Um, so now we're gonna weed eat. I'm not gonna record me weed eating. But I will show you guys the finished product of uh, this area and over there. So see you guys in a little bit. Woo! All right, we are done here finally. It took I was it's about another hour that I was out here. Well, we got everything back there weedy did, and everything up here weedy did down. I was covered, man. I was green. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, I love this time of year, man. I'm so happy to be out here working again. But while I was working, I did get a phone call. I needed to hear the voicemail, and. Uh, it might be a potential customer. We'll just have to see. I'll let you guys know when we get in the truck. All right, guys, we're in the truck, and I uh, just listened to the voicemail. It was from a realtor, and uh, or, well, I guess a property maintenance company, and um, someone off of Instagram, which is his name's it's Scissor Tail Landscaping, I think it is, and he hooked it up. He gave her my number, and for to do some lawns in Norman. And so, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much. But I need to call her back. She wants some tree trimming for now, but I'm assuming usually these turn into, you know, mowing mowing deals. They just want to kind of start you off with something small. So we're gonna, I'll call, give her a call back. We'll get that done. But guys, next, all right, it's 1:30. I'm gonna grab some lunch real quick, and then we'll. I'll go to the next one. I'm gonna. I'm only doing like a couple more, I'm trying to keep myself busy on the days I'm solo right now, because you know, um, just kind of do do doing small spring cleanups. And tomorrow we'll have Carlos and we'll be going back to that neighborhood where there's 16 yards and we're gonna be finishing, or at least trying to finish the rest of those scalps. So that'll be fun. But guys, I'm gonna get some food, get a little snack from the gas station, and then I'm gonna head to the next one. See you guys then. Woo, we are at the next one. Just had some good uh, peanut butter and jelly crackers from 7-Eleven. But it's just this little vacant lot. We're just gonna be mowing it down getting it ready for spring and so yeah uh, we came here last week to mow but there are some construction vehicles parked on here so I just told her we'll come back another day and today's the day so we're gonna get this done real quick shouldn't take long so guess I'll record it enjoy it Life.
Yo, 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 we just finished it up. Got it knocked out. Took me 13 minutes. Told you it wouldn't take that long. Uh, there's been a lot of you who asked me what kind of headphones I use, and these are, they're called plug phones. I got them off of uh, Ballard, Ballard Innovative Products or something like that. But they're basically earplugs. Like when, if you go to like a monster truck show and they give you earplugs, that's basically what these are about their headphones. So they have noise cancellation and their headphones. They play music, Bluetooth, so they're really nice. Uh, I believe they were $100. But guys, if you're looking for some good quality and they're, uh, they're waterproof, IP68 rated, um, all that stuff. So if you're, looking for, if you're looking for some good quality headphones that would that would block the noise, because I know I hate like having the blower on your back, especially, man. It's super loud. And I don't want to have uh, my damage or my hearing damage later on in life, so that's why I, I searched for a long time. These are the best ones that I could find at the best price. Great reviews on them, and uh, so far so good. No problems with them. We'll have to see how they last me all summer. So we'll have to see. But just wanted to kind of tell you guys what I use. It's called plug phones. P L U G F O N E S, not P H. It's F O N E S. So yeah, guys. But I'll see you guys. Yard. All right, everybody. Actually, we're not going to be mowing this last yard because check this out. It looks like it just got sprayed today or maybe a couple days ago. And I don't want to take off all the fertilizer. And I definitely don't want to be breathing in that stuff. Um, even with the RZ mask on, you'll still be breathing that stuff in. So I'm going to wait about another week and come back. It doesn't really need it anyway. I mean, and she just wanted regular mow. She didn't even want scalp. So I'm going to wait a few more days. She's going out of town soon anyway, so I can always come back when she's gone and get it mowed because it's definitely yeah it definitely got sprayed i can still smell the chemicals that's how uh so i don't want to deal with that don't want my mower to get stained or my hands of course Ugh. so that being said guys we're done mowing but i'm gonna head over to my dealer and we are gonna go in there real quick i want to see how much a grass gobbler is from my right so i'll take you guys along with me all right, everybody. So I just was in my dealer for a good hour and uh, was talking to them. So they got it hooked up. They ordered me a uh, grass gobbler from Wright for my 36, and it's a it's the regular size, not the jumbo. Uh, so I'm happy about that. All you guys tell me to get a bagger for the Wright. Finally got one. It'll be here end of this week, early next week. I told them no rush. I'm really I'm not in any hurry for it. Um, but yeah, so we got that ordered, the grass gobbler. I'm very happy. It was actually a really good deal. Um, Cause the, I know those accelerator bags are like 600 or something crazy. This one from Wright is 299, so 300, that's with tax. So it's $300 total, which is not bad at all for a, a grass catcher. So thank you Wright for making it way cheaper than those uh, accelerator bags or whatever they are. Um, but guys, I need to get home and put my trailer up. And then I'll end the video here. But yeah, that's the new purchase, guys. New uh, equipment purchase that I got. So see you guys when we get to my house. All right, I'm home, and I just realized while my trailer's out, uh, I might as well uh, change the filters on the 2620 engines. Um, I think this one should be good. This is brand new, but these two are older. So I think we should probably change the filters. We'll see. I'll take them out, and uh, we'll see how they look. All right, guys, so this is the older one. This is the little uh, piece of fabric in here. So this needs to go be replaced. The filter, on the other hand, uh, is still pretty dang clean. So I don't think we need to change this one just yet, but we need to change the little piece of cheese that's in there. That's what I like to call it. Looks like a little piece of cheese. Um, it just goes inside here. 
it doesn't. It goes inside here, duh. Whoops, guys, I did that wrong. It just goes inside this part right here. Might need to get two hands, and I'm good. And then this goes right on top of it. Just like that, voila. And yeah, the filter's just fine. So we definitely don't need to change that. So let's put this puppy back on real quick. And then I'll check the other one. So here is the uh, 2620 Edger. This is, this thing barely hardly, this thing hardly gets used. Can't talk. If I could get this little piece of foam out. There we go. Yeah, check that out. This hardly gets used, so it's uh, not even, I mean, check out the filter, man. Still looks brand new. So this one's barely used, and this one's been, this weed eater's been used even less. So obviously don't need to change there. So we got three extra filters for uh, this season, which is good in case something happens. You never know if uh, one of your weed eaters is gonna go down or needs a new filter. So we got them on stock now. So guys, that uh, ends today's video, I think. We got the new, the new equipment ordered and I couldn't be more excited. There's the right back there, sitting alone in the garage, man. Pretty soon there will be another another mower in here right next to it a 52 inch mower so but yeah guys i just wanted to end the video here be back tomorrow with carlito and we're going to be knocking out the scalps in that one neighborhood we're going to try to finish them and if not if we don't finish those finish them on wednesday so yeah guys hope you enjoyed today's video it was a great day we got a lot done and ordered a grass gobbler so I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.